There are things that you can do with this coaster that you can't do on any other ride. And something that we've been thinking about and talking about for at least three years now. It was an idea as far as submitted by one of our employees and we took that idea and, and really worked upon it. We obviously have to do a lot of engineering on it. You know, we actually developed some trade secrets as far as how we're going about understanding what this ride does. You can't take this ride and just plug it into your regular coaster model. The layouts that we're going to present and show are going to allow the riders to do things that you've never seen before. And we knew it looked fun on a computer screen. We knew that animation, it, lo it looked great, but we knew we had to get on this ride and, and test. It really exceeded our expectations, the fluidity of this ride, how it transitions from element to element. At some point you might be above the track, some point you might be below the track, and in reality, the person that's on the ride doesn't necessarily know what's gonna happen. As far as we're concerned, with this prototype, we are able to prove the concept. And this vehicle does exactly what we anticipate it doing. It spun where we knew it, where we wanted it to spin. It's rotated around. The accelerations that we're taking fall right in line with what we anticipated. We haven't made any changes to this vehicle whatsoever to make it work. And for it to run, you know, this, this chassis is only four passengers. We're looking at 12 passenger train as being the standard for right now. But you know, as far as the restraint system and things like that, we're able to work off of proven concepts we already have in our arsenal. The 40 free spin patented technology is definitely utilized here, plus it's got its own patents. Free spin, you spin forward and backwards about your heart line on the side, while in this situation you're, sp you're spinning similar on your heart line, but it's on your back side. So you're spinning laterally left to right compared to forward and back. Completely different feel. On a free spin, every single ride experience is going to usually be completely different. In this situation, variability is what we want passengers to think they're having. In reality, you're fairly close to what we expect. There is some, some variability, but not to the extent that you're going to be upside down where we don't want you to be upside down or we don't think you're going to be upside down. With our prototype here, we have an air launch system that gets you up to speed. We really knew that we weren't testing the air launch. We know how to do air launch technology. That's our bread and butter. We're right here by an airport, so we can't build a, a really large lift hill. But as far as the traditional ride, we're thinking, you know, lift hills, the way it's going to be going, it's a little bit more cost effective to do lift hills. You can use an air launch with this. Air launch is really the big thing as far as getting you up to speed quickly. The LSM systems work well with at a little bit lower speed than air launch when you don't need to launch really, really quickly. So an LSM can be adapted to this. We're not gonna define necessarily if it only can do air launch or LSM because we have the capability and the competency to do either one. Using this air launch as we have and in our prototype situation, we're loading on top of the track and we have platforms that go over the top of the track. Loading on the axis coaster lends itself best in an inverted position. Like a free spin or another inverted coaster, you can walk in and, and sit in the seat comfortably and easily. A variety of this model, you don't just build a prototype every year. We did the 40 free spin prototype. We did the steeplechase prototype. Those are things that mostly with the 40 free spin, we knew it was unique, different, something we'd never done before. So we needed to prove the concept and do some work on it. So with Axis, we had that in mind when we said, man, we think this is gonna be a hit. We think this is gonna be a nice ride. We wanna build it to validate it and, and really create something that our customers can come out and experience. On prototypes, a lot of times you might build it so that it might not be used in the future. You know, an example of this is the structure here. We're not gonna reuse the structure on anything. It's a temporary structure. But the track is engineered, fabricated, built, tested, so that it can be utilized in the future on another ride. It will last just like any other coaster track that's out there. This ride isn't just for your thrill seeker. It's not just for your, your kids either. You're gonna be seeing this ride, you know, sitting on your couch, 
watching a commercial and you're gonna say, that is something I've gotta get on. It is something that's gonna drive gate attendance. It's not gonna be something where, oh, well, I'm in the park, I might as well ride this. People are gonna come to your park to ride this ride because they're gonna feel like they're flying, they're gonna feel like they're on a normal, normal coaster, they're gonna feel like they're inverted, they're gonna feel all that in one punch. This is something that is an SNS product. Like anyone else's, it's a proprietary thing and we've done the proper engineering and submittals to make sure that you can only get this ride at SNS.